16 years after Kirk Ellis won 13 Emmys for John Adams on HBO, he is back on home ground with the Apple TV Plus miniseries Franklin, featuring Oscar winner and MCU hero Michael Douglas and adapted from the book A Great Impression by Stacey Schiff. Set in the 18th century, when Benjamin Franklin was convincing the French government to recognize America's independence from Britain, this decadent period piece comes out firing on all cylinders. Built around a magnetic central performance from Douglas, Franklin is an ever-expanding web of intrigue, double-dealing and clandestine connections spread across eight episodes. With cloak and dagger conversations to conceal, Franklin's impressionable young nephew to protect and the subtleties of French society to navigate, the series develops into an intricate melodrama. Populated by an epic ensemble cast including Eddie Marson, Ray Donovan, Daniel Mays, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, and Ludivine Sagné, Napoleon, at times it also feels like an old-fashioned potboiler. However, when Franklin leans into relationships rather than historical rhetoric, it takes a potentially dry topic and delivers something edgy. Michael Douglas provides Franklin with a solid foundation. The miniseries ensemble cast gives Douglas plenty of support. As Michael Douglas moves into his elder statesman era, Franklin reveals an actor with every instrument at his disposal. Drawing on his wealth of experience over 50 years of crafting characters, Douglas plays the title character as a man of disarming intellect who is comfortable in every environment. Benjamin Franklin is revealed to be a cunning tactician, charming rogue and beguiling presence, as well as the driving force behind the Apple miniseries. Noah Jupe, from A Quiet Place and its equally terrifying sequel, stands alongside the seasoned veteran as his nephew Temple, and Jupe's chemistry with Douglas really brings Franklin to life. Whether being offered up as leverage through an arranged marriage to further political schemes, or taking up arms against British invaders, the character of Temple is crucial in providing audiences with another perspective. Not only does he give them the chance to explore ideas beyond his grandfather's influence, but he also serves as a way to introduce rogue elements such as the Marquis de Lafayette, played by Theodore Pellerin. Lafayette is a Parisian native with rebellion in mind, fired up by the apathy of others, while insurgents such as Franklin work from within to fight the system. His journey is also crucial since it takes audiences overseas to fight alongside the United States infantry, giving the series a truly international feel. Another pivotal player in this complex character piece is Daniel May's Edward Bancroft, a close friend to Franklin and one of the few people he can trust. From the moment Franklin comes ashore, this co-conspirator works tirelessly to charm France into submission. Connections at court with the likes of Foreign Minister Charles Gravier, Thibaut de Montalembert, are aided by Bancroft and grease the wheels of international diplomacy. With an alliance between America and France offering the wealthy a chance to expand their influence overseas, this charismatic American is soon being bankrolled by aristocrats and diplomats alike. Franklin is reminiscent of Netflix's House of Cards. With more than a little of Wall Street's Gordon Gecko thrown in. Franklin feels familiar because even though it's a historical drama, it remains contemporary. Hulu's underrated historical drama The Great explored Russian politics through sarcasm, satire and pitch-perfect performances, and Franklin goes about things the same way. Some supporting players, including Pierre Beaumarchais, played by Assad Bouab, add spice by grounding any moments of comic relief or theatricality with violent acts of insurrection. However, where Franklin clearly deviates from the great is in its use of French dialect. The Hulu series never incorporated Russian, preferring to take any effort out of watching for audiences. Franklin eschews such indulgences and utilizes subtitles throughout, giving the Apple original an added degree of authenticity. Franklin further possesses an air of gentility that appears to mimic Martin Scorsese's film Age of Innocence. But viewers will most obviously note comparisons with House of Cards, even if Douglas employs more subtlety in his characterization than Kevin Spacey ever did as Frank Underwood. Benjamin Franklin manipulating the French while they negotiate with Britain creates a sense of genuine drama playing out in private. 